God, the Sheik is super aggressive. Love it. Very good at just getting damage, finding her way in to specific matchups. And this is definitely something unique because, you know, Falco has a lot of ways of playing this game. But if you're not careful, you will just get messed up by this character. Maybe with pitiful damage? Not the point. She does things. And she looked good doing it too. Yeah, That's all I no, gotta say. No, Zane Sheik absolutely going crazy. She went, she got, I believe... <laughs> Second yesterday at Waypoint, and yeah, she did get second with, with Sheik at Waypoint yesterday and Duck Hunt. So her her Sheik go hard. Like I mean, I, I talked about earlier uh, yesterday. You know, Sheik does have to kind of work for her kills a lot of the time. She has to rack up a lot of like, combos and damage on her opponents to even have like a semblance of her F smash or for or up smash, killing at like, a reasonable amount. Home. So if she gets scared to like Falco. She will have to really like work on a lot on uh, on keeping Falco in the air and using a lot of her aerial kills in order to get him out because that's where Falco likes, likes to be anyway in the air. So he, he's a bird. So Zeke is Zeke. <laughs> Zeke is Zane. Uh, Zane's gonna have to really work on work on uh, getting Kelly fed up in the air, getting a lot of those up air combo stars he's able to get often. Honestly, I really feel like you know Calafera's like advantage has kind of been lackluster. If we're gonna be completely honest, definitely fumbled a lot of the bags that could have been present um but for sure they definitely feel like I, they need them to have a little bit more of you know advantage because this is exactly what we know how to go for and if you're just gonna give away these free you know like at state's advantage i'm gonna be completely honest i'm pretty sure zane will absolutely take that yeah agreed and oh and that's gonna take the first game uh the first stock from zane and honestly, you know, not not impossible for Zayn. She's doing a lot of these great, uh, great chases over here. And you know, Califeta doing a really amazing job of keeping Zayn uh, at a really high percentage with uh, those uh, those um, Falco up tilts into up airs and uh, and side beat and uh, and fairs and stuff. So you know what? Doing an amazing job keeping Zayn at bay. And Zayn has to kind of work a little bit harder to close up this first stock because Califeta is wrecking a lot of percentage on her. Absolutely, and this is definitely looking a little bit like a struggle for Zayn right here. Definitely needs to take off this, you know, stock a little bit sooner. Kind of giving a little bit of Bayo syndrome, but boo boo boo, boo Bayo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for sure, you know, this is kind of the thing that she definitely does struggle with. Just having, you know, really good combo routes, but honestly, taking off that first stock. Oh, great almost. timing of the reflector right there, right there, or the shine. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like. Because uh, she does have the, it able to kind of use some some needles and expo and explosive setups, but you know she has been able, able to actually capitalize on those a lot against Galifera. So you know and she's at one twenty percent, really easy percentage for Falco to kill with any kind of smash attack or even uh, those up air kills. He's, he often does off the top of the ledge. So you know what? Ooh, this might be it right here. No, not not doing the chase in the air. Absolutely, still at one hundred and forty two percent. You know, Calafera is definitely holding advantage really well right here. And we definitely need to see a little bit more of an advantage coming in from Zane. The jab lock. Oh Ooh, my and... god. There's no way. <laughs> it went right over Califera and actually saved his stock. I completely saved him. And that completely takes her stock. Wow. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate, honestly. Absolutely. And ooh, they're getting the nice little hit of, you know, Nair right there. I definitely feel like we've kind of been seeing Zane struggle a little bit. Honestly, she doesn't look like she has a little bit too much of a handle on, you know, Calafera's disadvantage right here. But we had the Falco combos. Oh, no. Ooh. No, I think I hit him one more up there or even, uh, like, timed his back a little bit better. That would have been it for Zane off of that how far she was to that left, the edge. Yeah. Ooh, and that was... You know what? Ooh. Nice try at that DI mix-up right there, but not going to yield you that, you know, life. Death. Only death we know. But for sure, this is definitely really possible for Zane to actually make this back. If we can see her get, you know, the chic things. Oh, we love chic things. She just do chic things and she kill. Just out of nowhere, honestly. Listen, this is really, really detrimental for Sheik and Zayn, like, right now. Kali is doing an amazing job to take this first game off for himself. If if Zayn's not able to kind of, like, rack it back up, you know, doing the, the things I saw her do yesterday, the nasty stuff she was doing yesterday, you know? God, if, if this goes to the second game, which it, it will, she'll likely... Oh, 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 wait, this might be something. Oh! oh. guard. Ooh, that edge guard was looking super nice and very nice on Zayn's part. Just waiting for Calafera to shoot something, but that is not going to yield you any results with that up smash taking on that last stock. And that is the first game going to Calafera. Very nice on his part. Mm, honestly, 
we might be seeing Zane go with the Duck Hunt uh, for the second game. Because her Duck Hunt setups are absolutely lethal, nasty. I cry every time I look, watch them. Here we go. No, more, some more Tekken music making things a little more serious. Uh, the only, you know, thing to that added effect might be the fact that, you know, Zane, I don't think they really like this matchup all too often. If we're going to be completely honest. So I can definitely see that they're having a little bit of struggle, a little bit of feeling hesitant on which character they should go. She's thinking, mm -hmm. should I be nasty? Should I be evil? She's picking around the, the DLCs. Going Joker? Joker! The Zane Joker? This is interesting. This is not a character I've seen before. Me neither. So I'm definitely ready for this. You know, I actually think I know why, but I'm not going to say it. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, Joker, we just seen this matchup, did we not? We literally, not, not, no, we didn't see the Joker versus uh, Falco. No, like with VV, I meant. Anyways, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 no, um. yeah, no. <laughs> VV didn't fought Pithra just now. Well, yeah. Not a Falco. But you know, you know, same, same idea. Same, same, same difference. Same idea. Um, Mithra wise. But yes, already 60% and doing a lot of damage. I'm pretty surprised that we already have Arsene and it's only been 66%. What the Falco be doing? What the bird? The bird do things? The bird is doing a lot of things in the air. That's where he wants to be. Ooh. Oh, not getting punched on the Firebird. And the S Bug smash the S killing. Smash, though. Killing. What percent was it? 57? No, 75. Nar. Oh, God. Yeah, 75. I don't know. I'm telling you about this character. Oh, God. This character does things. Oh, God. But that was very good on Zane's part, taking off that first stock. And if we're going to be completely honest, it's already looking good on Zane's part. And it's looking like Halifera is definitely having a hard time in disadvantage. Or, you know, playing the second stock out right here. They definitely need to do something really quick to take this stock off because Zane's only at 93%. Yeah, Zayn only 90%, Arsene meter halfway up, and if she keeps taking damage, and well, she will, uh, Arsene's gonna come right back out and just take away Kai Feather's second stock so easily, because we've seen Arsene do crazy things, honestly, as his high like, advantage or whatever, you know? So, Kai Feather really a complete shift from game one, where Kai was having a really good lead against Zayn, having great center, control of center stage, and now it's kind of the momentum's really shifted. Ooh! That was nicely timed. Absolutely. Very nice down here. K taking off Zane's um, first stock. But we're still at 100%. And if I'm going to be completely honest, if Zane takes off this stock, we might see a situation where we're going to have Arsene pretty quickly already. Arsene's almost fully charged. And this is pretty scary. If you're a Falco player, you do not want to be 116% with Arsene ready. That's probably the most single is scary thing I think any character can deal with there we go you know what's like, like that happens you know what's worse guy is back at zero percent coming back on the stage and Arsene is still active that character that addition can really take you out so quickly so fast and it's horrifying it's getting scary out here it's getting scary it's been scary I don't know bestie because it's 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 Joker we do not have Arsene anymore but Zane's only at 96 percent with Calafera taking 57, not even 63%, and is still struggling to take this stock. I don't know. Oh, oh the yeah, nice no, trade he... right there, getting you know a little bit of something going on right there, but not gonna kill him. Very nice tech read from Calafera's point, taking off that second stock, and now Zane is at a zero percent. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's really scary. It's getting scary out here. We're seeing a lot of these uh, these up airs from from Valifera uh, and airs. But oh, here comes Arsene. Yeah, 117. All you need is a, a back air, a forward air, anything of the sort with Arsene. Even you have to put back up a little bit more damage and back really, really back recommend. Back air, back air, back air, back air, get that back air. No, she's fishing for it. She's fishing air, for that back air. Back air. But she keeps Dang fishing it. for it and not getting it. She's going to lose Arsene and that ability to kill so easily at Lily's center stage. Oh, that's it. Ooh, not gonna oh, kill just great there. DI. Oh, that will. Goodbye. Absolutely. So this that was actually a really good game from Zane's point, and this is definitely something that I know all too well about Joker. Mm. Joker can be good in the hands of many, but the one real scary thing about Joker is that you have to have to have your advantage on point. If you don't have an advantage on that bat, you are gonna have to stick with Arsene for so long. You don't want to be in a situation where Arsene is just ready and you're on your last stock. You, there are so many situations that can just be prevented by you making sure that you're always 
having that advantage on point. You want to make sure that they have Arsene first so that you don't actually have to deal with it in situations, you know, it just doesn't really go as well. But again, stuff like that with the down air, very nice timing from Calafera. And I think this is actually where we saw an F tilt, F smash? Me thinks no. Where? Back air. Oh, I don't, so the back air. All the moves look the same to me, honestly. A little funny, a little nice comes out and you're done. <laughs> honestly, it... I know uh, S now because S now is scary. He just stabs you with them and it's horrifying. <laughs> oh my god. This little schoolboy oh, just. We are going over a smash pill? Okay. Absolutely, because this can definitely be good for Calafera. Wanting the Smash Bowl to provide a small you know, area just to play in, making sure that Joker doesn't have too much fun just staying away, making sure that Zayn is playing super safe. That's exactly what Calafera doesn't want. Calafera wants to be in, wants to be using a lot of that damage. And here again, like I said before, Arsene just be doing Arsene things. This can definitely end in a very bad position for Calafera. Only at 37%, but I've seen plenty of situations where Joker just killed that zero. It is not healthy. Like that, that definitely could have killed there. That almost killed there. Oh, that yeah, didn't kill there, he, he honestly. Did. He wouldn't have made it back, Jeff. It's crazy. Absolutely insane play by Zayn. Only getting, uh, only at, uh, getting 100%, 105% to her name. Ooh. Arsene is... Basically gone, <laughs> just chilling uh, away, and you know Zane, uh, Zane's has to break up a lot of percentage for herself. And Galifeta honestly has to close up, the, close up the stock as soon as he can, either with uh, Falco up air into back air up air, uh, you know those Falco combos we've seen with uh, players like Tilde as well. So, you know, oof, it, it, it can be scary for either player honestly. And we saw a lot of those Falco combos in the first uh, the first stock for both characters. Where Galifero just wrapped up like a whole bunch of percentage on Zayn with a bunch of these uh these uh up tilts into up airs uh into like back air, fair things like that. So you know, Galifero has to kind of repeat what he just did in the first stock. And if he isn't able to do that, it's gonna be really detrimental and give this game to Zayn easily. Absolutely, but you know, again, to that effect. That's the thing. You have to make sure, along with your advantage, your disadvantage is just as good. You don't want to end up in a situation where you're, he was only at 33%, and he ended up dying super quick. This is just the versatility of Joker. If you're not careful, you have to make sure that you're just on point with everything. Joker requires so much thought, and if you're not getting that, you're going to end up in situations like that where you die, except then this time it's on the other end. And Calipher is taking off that first knock from Zayn. Yeah, that was really uh, the, the trade off they were having off the ledge was actually really interesting because Zayn was doing a very amazing job at keeping uh, keeping Gaither off the stage. And once Gaither was able, able back on, he closed up the stock for himself, and it, it looks it's still looking a very precarious situation for him, especially because Joker doesn't even have Arsena, but all he needs is a good back air, a well timed a well timed, uh, a well -timed um, F two or a, or a, uh, F smash against Gaither's Firebird, which he might get because you know. She always is really good at timing, or, or at least like placing herself right outside the the hitbox, the, right outside like the move, in order to get that. Ooh, wait, that was really nice. Ooh, hello, hi Joker, hi Zayn Joker. Zane uh, Joker I want to have a dialogue. But for sure, I definitely really think that honestly, Calafera might need to play a little bit more at ledge, um, or just you know have a good ledge shopping because honestly, that's it's looking like. They've definitely been struggling on that end too, you know, honestly, they've been going off stage a lot, especially to kind of take off a lot of stocks from Zayn, and it just has not been working out too well for them. Oh, Zayn using the counter in order to kind of wreck up a little percentage on, uh, on, uh, for our centimeter, that's what it's called. So, I haven't really seen that too often with the counter in order to absorb a lot of the moves that Kalifut is kind of landing on her, and wow, wow, this might be, this might be really, this is a really close game already. Absolutely. Honestly, it only takes one good, you know, instance of advantage for you to have Arsene ready to just, you know, bail out Joker. And honestly, if Calfair is not careful, that can definitely happen. Calfair is actually at 41%, uh, so this can really, really be scary. Yeah, right now, Zane was doing a really good job using uh, Eha when she could in order to get, into it, get in there. Uh, with uh, with Joker throw uh, th up throw into um, up air, but you know if, if she's able to keep continue the momentum going and she gets hit even one more time or waits about another five seconds, our is gonna come out and Kali is gonna be an extremely pre precarious situation where he has to absolutely close up the stock as fast as he can in order to not let Arsen come out. Which here comes Arsen coming to beat everyone up. Oh, that Ooh. was a very wishful forward smash. 
Absolutely. But and that, that back air is absolutely going to take that stock. Calafera losing to Zayn. A very good game from both of them. Definitely love that first game again from Calafera. But that was a close game the entire time. From Cali Cali Fair, you're doing really well against against that matchup. Because I know that matchup must be super difficult for Falco anyway. God. Honestly. Very good on their part. And who do we have up next? This is the real question. We have ads up next. <laughs> we have ads? Yes. We got ads up next because you know what, what I want to talk about? We're